So good morning, everybody. This is Ingrid Dinter, ingriddinter.com. It's really, really nice to see you again. Um, we have some new people. We have some regular people. Um, so we're a smaller group this morning. So let's see how all of this uh, is going to come together. I see Susan just joined us. Hey, Susan, good morning. Hi there. Hey, nice to meet you. And Bill is here. Hey, Hi. Bill, one of my favorite people. And Charlie is here. <laughs> awesome uh we are recorded you guys know already um that the recording is being posted on youtube on my facebook page um probably on my website and it's just it's just out there so if you don't want to be recorded if you don't want people to know that you're on um they can read your name right now <clears throat> even if you don't have your video on so if you really want to be completely anonymous hey uh, uh, azrael how are you um, if you want to be completely anonymous, the only way to do that is to watch the recording. Um, unfortunately, um, if you just want to join, but don't want to talk about what's going on, that's fine too. You know, you also always have, um, the option to email me what's going on with you and what you struggle with, uh, beforehand. And so we can address that. Um, just give me a little bit of time so I can think about that as well. So we are being, uh, we are recorded right now. Uh, you guys all know, and you've signed, you know, I'm not a psychologist, not a psychiatrist, not a mental health professional in any form or shape. This is strictly coaching and EFT coaching. Um, so if you are all in charge of your own health and mental health and everything else that goes along with needing a licensed professional, uh, which I am not, right? And you all agree and you agree by basically staying on the call. <laughs> okay. So uh, any other questions? Before that, um, I just, I'm just really grateful that you're all here. This is wonderful. Um, I think we are really establishing um, a nice kind of support uh, flow here. And we have some people that come back every week. Good morning, Marie Therese. Nice to see you. Um, and uh, you know, some newer people every week. And um, what I said before we started the recording is that... Um, from what I've seen from all the people I've been talking to, people feel isolated. Hey, good morning, Pat. People feel isolated, but they're also um, united in the isolation. You know, everybody <laughs> in the entire world kind of feels the way we do right now. And uh, there is comfort in that. There is, uh, there is, you know, everybody has a different angle on things. Everybody has different specific unique things that they're going through, but... Um, you can feel very safe to say that <clears throat> whatever you're struggling with, somebody else will be struggling with as well. I <clears throat> last night I talked to a, um, a, a a friend and client, and just to check in uh, with her, and she told me. Actually, let me just mute yeah, everybody for a minute I'm, if I can. I've got a problem with that resource right now. Just a minute. Um, I'm just going to mute you all, and you know how to unmute yourself, right? So that's. Nice and right. And she told me, you know, my kids live in New York City and uh, both have COVID. So actually, uh, one, she's still expecting, uh, but the, uh, good morning now, um, and she's expecting to, to develop it because the boyfriend has it and then the son is recovering, you know, and here I am sitting in New Hampshire and realizing I have no problems. <laughs> I have absolutely no problems right now, right? So, and other people are in different places, um, clearly, or still struggling with it. So just feel free to, to own how you feel, right? It's just how it is right now. Um, so that being said, you know that the, the um, mic is at the bottom left. You can unmute yourself there. Um, if you want to just raise your hand and let me know something, that's fine. Um, you know, just I, I, the easiest is usually to just raise your hand like this and then I can unmute you. Um, probably why don't I, I just unmute everybody right now and we can talk really quickly. Um, here we go. Okay, yeah, you're okay. all unmuted. Um, yeah. so, and uh, my name is Bill McLean. Just you a minute, Bill. I'm gonna go ahead and mute you. Okay, so there we go. So, Cher, where are you at? What would you like to work on today? Um, how can I support you? What's going on for you, Israel? Is it is oh, it Israel? Uh, yes, Azrael. yes. I'm sorry. 
So, so what's going on for you guys today? Just, just, um, just share yes, what I can do for you. Yes, you a little bit of this uncertainty when I will be able to go home. Yes. No planes. Uh, yeah, I'm here with my daughter. Worry about her. Yep. She has back problems and uh, works too much. And uh, mm -hmm. on the other hand, I want to go home. Yep. As soon as possible. My husband, my son in New York. And uh, I don't so want to go in home Lithuania because right now? New York. So, so, so help people understand where you are right now. Uh, right now I'm in Lithuania with my daughter. Yep. I, I got stuck because of coronavirus yep. uh, restrictions to fly. And yeah, I, I'm over three months here. And um, I don't know when, I'm, will, when I will be able to go home. Mm, yeah. I have two, two kinds of tickets and they like cannot reach them. Yeah. So all this, you know, uncertainty, yep. worries and yeah. And you, you originally, you live in New York. Yes, I originally live in New York. I want to go home and I don't want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it, right? You understand me? I, I do, yeah. You know, I, I do. I know that if we want to go and see our family in Germany, um, we would have to quarantine for two, two weeks. Why are we going to do that? <laughs> you know? And then we come back and we have to quarantine again for two weeks. Where are we going to do that? How is that going to work? Right? So uh, there's a good chance that we're not going to see him forever. Um, but we're here. Our daughter is here. And she has to go back. But when she's back, when can I see her again? Right? Because of that situation, where are we going to be? You know, in a, yes, yes, yes. In a college dorm? <laughs> yeah. So I hear you. Uh, however, uh, your situation is clearly uh, a whole lot more stressful. So, and I want to be very um, straightforward EFT with this, you know, and the reason I do want to do that is because um, sometimes there are just no solutions, but there is a way to take the charge out of this. There is a way to just say, to just settle in and be where we are and kind of find the strength to just roll with it. Um, there will be a solution. We know you will not be there in five years. <laughs> or in two or in one, <laughs> right? So this yeah. will eventually sort itself out somehow. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there is really just a good idea to, to just address it very straightforward with EFT, very uncomplicated, and then take it from there and see what happens. Would that be okay with you? Yes. Okay. So you guys are all familiar with EFT on the call. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Good morning, Leslie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. So, so that's good then. Um, so basically what I would like to do is just use um, a little bit of the, um, of the chase and the pain technique. Um, because the, this is something we, you can't rationalize and argue your way out of this, right? It is what it is. It's just, what are we going to do? Make it, make it right. Make it good. Make it feel good. Make it awesome. Make, make us forget that this sucks and say, oh, it's also great. I see my kid. Uh, none of that would be authentic and right. Right. So why even try? Right. So when you think about this, this is where you're at right now. Where do you feel this? How do you feel this? I feel it's like, like a worry here in my chest. Uh, a worry or a war? Worry. A wor worry, worry in your chest. Worry, like, like a bubble of uh, yeah. worry. Yeah. When I don't think it's okay, but, you know, time after time, I'm like, kind of, so, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Let's address that and let's see what happens. You know, I'm not saying we're not going to go and do something else after, you know, this isn't a flow. Last time really helped with my friend in the hospital. Yeah, I'm here for her and I pray for her, but I don't don't cry like you know like really like she's gonna die right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really yeah. helped. Really helped. Thank so on a scale of zero to ten, how much is the bubble of worry in your chest? About eight. Eight. Okay. All right, then uh, let me actually let me just mute everybody and just. Um, unmute you. And I would like to invite everybody to just tap along. Okay, so that we can do this. You said an eight, is that correct? <clears throat> okay. Karate point, even though. 
Even though I have this eight bubble of worry in my chest. I have this eight uh, bubble uh, of worry in my chest. Of worry in my chest. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck at home. I'm stuck at home. But I'm not at home. But I'm not at home. I'm stuck with my family. I'm stuck with my family. But I'm not with my family. But I'm not with my family. I have two legs in two countries. I have two legs in two countries. Two legs in two countries. I don't know where I want to be, where I'd rather be. And I don't know where I would rather be. This is so hard for me right now. That's, this is so hard for me right now. And I have this huge bubble of worry in my chest. Uh, and I have this huge bubble of worry in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. And even though I have this bubble of worry in my chest. Even though I have this bubble of worry in my chest. And it's an eight. And it's an eight. It's a big deal for me. It's a big deal for me. I'm stuck at home, but I'm not at home. I'm stuck at home, but I'm not at home. I'm stuck with my family, but I'm not with my family. I'm stuck with my family, but I'm not with my family. And I don't get to choose where I want to be. And I don't get to choose where I want to be. I'm just going to acknowledge that bubble of worry in my chest. Just going to acknowledge this bubble of worry in my chest. It's a big bubble. It's a big bubble. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's right there. It's right there. And I love and accept myself anyway. And I love and accept myself anyway. And even though I do have this bubble of worry in the middle of my chest. And even though I have this uh, bubble of worry in the middle of my chest. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. It's a really big deal. It's very hard right now to know how to feel. It's a very hard right now to know how to feel. Because I'm not at home, but I am at home. I'm not at home, but I'm, I, I am at home. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't get to choose. And I don't get to choose. It's not safe to go home. It's not safe to go home. But I want to go home. But I want to go home. And it's nice to be here. And it's nice to be here. This is home too. This is home too. But I don't get to choose. But I, I don't get to choose. My tickets aren't worth anything right now. My tickets aren't worth anything right now. My tickets aren't worth anything right now. And I love and accept myself. But I love and accept myself. Up off your head. This bubble of worry in my chest. This bubble of worry in my chest. Inside of the eyebrow. It's an eight. It's a big deal. It's an eight. And it's, it's a big deal. Outside of the eye. It's a really big deal for me. It's a really big deal. Under the eye, this bubble of worry in my chest. This bubble of worry in my chest. No, it's an upper lip. It's right there. It's, it's right there. Lower lip and chin. I don't get to choose. I don't get to choose. Collarbone. I'm in Lithu Lithuania and I'd like to be in New York. <clears throat> I'm in Lithuania. I would like to be in New York. I'm in Lithuania, but I'm, I would like to be in the New York that I know. Uh, I'm in Lithuania, but I would like to be in New York that I knew. That I but, love. That, but that New York is not the New York that I would return to. New York is not the New York I love. And that really hurts as well. And, re and really hurts as well. It's very hard to live with this right now. It's very hard to live like this right now. I have now. this bubble of worry in the middle of my chest. And this bubble of worry in the middle of my chest. What is going to happen? <clears throat> what is going to happen? Where gonna, am I going to live? Where am I going to live? How is it going to be? How is it going to be? How is what can I do? Going to be? What can I do? What can I do? There's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. Other than really worry right now. <laughs> Other than really worry right now. I'm going to go ahead and worry. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and worry. As much as I can. As much as I can. That's a big worry. It, this big worry. And I'm going to hold on to that even if I don't have to. <laughs> and I'm going to hold on into, onto that even I don't have to. It's the only thing I can do right now. That's the only thing I can do right now. So I'm going to keep worrying. 
I am going to keep worrying. On the <clears throat> even if that means. Even if that means. Means. But I don't get to enjoy my home the way that I could. That I don't get to enjoy my home the way I could. Take a breath. It's better. Yeah. What makes it better? We all know that it's silly, but it like just happens until. It wasn't silly a minute ago. It wasn't eight. Yeah, I know, I know. I know it wasn't. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's why it makes sense sometimes to maybe a little bit creatively, but just address the that's, body. That's what's happening. <clears throat> okay. So how are you feeling now? Uh, I'm feeling much better. I'm going to enjoy. You know, there's <laughs> something too nice to return to your roots, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this yeah, is a I know it's for me it's the, the, the best place to be right now. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. We have 38 deaths. In the, in the country? Far in the way. That's all. Wow. It's a good place to be. You yeah, kind of like that. Maybe feel a little guilty that I I'm so such in such a good place, and my husband and my son they are not. Yeah, I I, I understand that. Karate chop, and anybody else feels guilty about being okay right now? Okay, just tune into that. Even though I feel guilty that I'm okay right now, <clears throat> even though I feel guilty that I'm okay right now, it's not my fault that I'm okay. Not my fault that I'm okay. I'm just okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. We need people that are okay. We need people that are okay. To help those who are not. To help those who are not. When the time is right. When the time is right. We all have our place to fight. We all have times to fight. Our place to fight. We, we all have our place to fight. And our time will come. And when the time will come. And right now my job is to be okay. And right now, my job is to be okay. I'm I would not to... serve anybody if I got this virus. I won't serve anybody if I'm not okay. I would just weaken who I am. <clears throat> I just weaken who I am. Needlessly. 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 There's no point. No point. <sighs> but it's hard to see others suffer. But it's hard to see others suffer. And not be a part of it. And not to be a part of it. And I'm just going to own that feeling. And I'm just going to own that feeling. That compassion and sadness. That compassion and sadness. That guilt of being okay. That guilt of being okay. Maybe even feeling undeserving. Maybe feeling undeserving to be Why okay. am I fine and they're not? Why I'm fine and they're not? I'm just going to own it. I'm just going to own it. That's how nice I am. That's how nice I am. I'm really nice. I'm really nice. I want to share that pain. I am. I want to share that pain. I don't even know him, but I just want to share that pain. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, I don't even know, but I want to share that pain. I'm really nice right now. I'm really nice right now. But I'm also going to be nice when all this is over and they need me. And I'm also going to be nice when it's over and they need me. Because this fight is far from over. Because this fight is far from over. People are going to come out on the other side severely traumatized. People are going <clears> to <throat> come on the other side severely traumatized. And I better have, have my shit together for them. And uh, I better have my shit together for them. And I better get my shit together for them. Yeah. That this fight is far from over. This fight is far from over. Some people fight at the front lines. Some people fight at the front lines. And some people are the medics. And some people are the medics. That take care of those who want to live. And they care of those who want to live. And I better have my act together for that. And I better have my Act together for that. Act together for that. Even if that, even if that means... <clears throat> that means... That I'm not going to get hurt right now. That I'm not going to get hurt right now. Okay, top of your head. But I do feel guilty. But I do feel guilty. My life isn't all that bad. 
my life is not all that bad. I spend time at home. I spend time at home. I spend time with my family. I spend time with my family. Maybe I finally get to clean up the house. <laughs> Maybe I finally get to clean up the house. Some people are even cooking right now. Some people are even cooking right, right now. <laughs> Who's ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> What happened to restaurants? <laughs> to restaurants, yeah. <laughs> and people even take walks, imagine that. And people even take walks, imagine that. And I do take walks. Because they have nothing else to do. Because they have nothing <laughs> else. Of course, all of that is a choice. Of course, all of that is a choice. And people deal with this in different ways. And people deal with this in different ways. But what I know for sure. And what I know for sure is that this fight is far from over. Yeah, is that this fight is far from over. And I have to take my place. And I have to take my place. Not somebody else's place, but mine. No, not somebody else's place, but mine. Because if I don't step up for what I'm here to do. If I don't step up for what I'm here to do. Nobody else will. Nobody else will. Take a breath. It's much better. Thank you for reminding me my place. And uh, that, yeah, that fight is far from over. Oh, well, we haven't and, even started yet. Yeah. And I'm helping people right now. And I, I, they will need me even more when it's over. Yeah. Yeah. And they need you for who you are right now. They don't need you to be somebody else. They don't need you to be sick. Uh, they actually yeah. feel probably more comfortable if you're not. Yeah, exactly. So thank you for saying that. I hope this all gets sorted out soon, but it will sort itself out in some way. And uh, well, Everything we're here on Tuesdays. You know that. <laughs> thank you very much for being here you're for welcome. us and being okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Here for us. Thank you very much. Some feedback from you guys. Hey, Jessica. Um, some feedback from others. Uh, you can unmute yourself on the bottom left if you want and just speak. That's probably easiest. I saw some people nodding. I think, can you hear me? Yeah, Catherine, I can, yes. Um, I think it's just, I'm a therapist actually. And I think this is good just to have a group together for, for a while because we can't be together. Yeah. And um, it's a difficult time and a lot of us agree. We've, we, we're, not do, we're not doing as much as we can. And especially, you know, like myself, I wish I was on the front lines right now, but I can't be. I live with my 83 year old mother and I, yeah. I, you know, terrifies me. Um, and I think that just knowing that we're all here and listening to the issues that different people have to share, um, it, it's very helpful. You know, I think we've all gotten thrown in yes. so fast to this new life and change and transition is so terrifying but to do it just overnight. And I think yep. just being here is very helpful. And I really appreciate that you're doing this. You just sold, you sold me into do, keeping doing this. You understand that, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, for the, no, right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying you. to help so that I can help others. I'm doing, I'm, and you are, I'm throwing my, I'm doing, I'm throwing my online therapy practice into place really fast. And I think that's what's mm -hmm. scary for me because I feel like I have to do something. And, and you so like that's, so you're kind of, it just makes me feel good to see that other people are doing that too. Just jumping in and, you know, just do your best and helping because yeah. we have the skills and yeah, it's scary. And everybody's needed in a different way. And I hope that becomes clear as well as we do this work together. People are, you know, there are people that really need you right now. They don't need me and they don't need us really. They don't need anybody else. They need you. And if you don't show up, then what are they going to do? You know, and whether that's two or 200 makes no difference. It, I think it's really about taking your, your place, filling that place in the rainbow. I always think, you know, um, it's a good question. It's, uh, you know, which color is the rainbow? It's right. all the colors, right? It's not like there is this one blue and one green one. It's, it's, it's the all there is. And all of us have our little shade in there. And that's at that specific spot at that rainbow. And if you weren't there, it would be a black spot. Right? Because yeah. nobody else has that uniqueness, that specific 
setup that you have and people need to see you and, and resonate with your energy and, and, and say, thank God, I'm so glad you're here right now because I was ready to, I don't know, do whatever yeah. I needed to do that I shouldn't be doing. Um, go for it. Go for it. Just reach out, tell people you're here. This is easy. Zoom is easy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got everything set up. I'm just. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. You. So no, I'm glad you're here. So how can we support you with this right now? Um, I think that I'm feeling really good today. Yesterday was a bad day. Why was um, yesterday a bad day? Well, because I have no money. Okay. I, I quit my job in December to get my private practice set up and then okay. um, just a right as the coronavirus hit everything fell apart and so i had to cancel my contract with who the, the group i was going to work with and um unemployment's not going through in the state of florida the way it should be so and i luckily i live with my mother and you know with it's i have a roof over my head and i have food here um but i'm not a, but i just feel with my experience i just feel like i should be helping and I need to be helping. And I, so I got all this stuff together and I did it on, I did it correctly, but I'm putting my psychology, I need a psychology today profile and to just get started, let people know I'm here. And it's just terrifying because I'm worried about little things like legalities and ethics. And, um, and I just want to, because I want to help people, but I'm also terrified because I have no money in my account and it's, our virus, our peak is not supposed to hit until the end of May here in Collier, I'm in Florida, Collier County, South Florida. So I'm just trying, and I'm, so, and I'm taking my LCSW exam May 19th, so I'm trying to start restudying for that again. Um, so I've, I'm just stressing about my online, getting some clients, but yet I still have to study for the exam and I have to pass it. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I need to put some money in my account. My mom can't, I can't put this on my mom to carry the whole load. So right now, if I, if I may, <clears throat> I hear you. Uh -huh. I hear you. Um, but I hear two different things. One of them is I want to help people. And the other one is as a psychologist, there are hoops to jump through. Yeah. Okay. Which, exactly. one's, which one's easier for you right now? Um, I think if I can finish my, profile today and get it active that would be one big thing that's my focus right now is to just say the right things in my profile very short and succinctly and then once that's done and I put myself out there then I can set aside time for when I plan to study okay but, but they didn't answer my question oh okay I'm sorry I didn't maybe what is didn't. answer what is easier for you right now and I, it's probably a leading question. My apologies. Uh, oh, what's easier for me? So here we are. Okay. You say, I think I should be what, helping people. What's easier, for, what's easiest for me is to stay inside and quarantine. So here's what I would, would, would suggest you do. You just call your old clients. Mm -hmm. You forget that you're not a psychologist, right? Uh, it's not licensed right now. You just tell them, look, I can't work as a psychologist right now, but I can mm -hmm. take care of you. Right. How are you? You call okay. 20 clients a day and just ask them how they are. Okay. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to mm -hmm. put you back into where you're at. It's going to start your practice when you have your license and the whole thing together. This is going to take time and it is going to put you back to where you belong. You need okay. to be at the front lines right now. Yeah. You have the background and you have the, the training and you have the people that you've been working with before. There is such a thing as a phone and Zoom. And you just go ahead and you take a chunk out of your calendar every single day whatever that is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or from nine to four or whatever it is you want to do, that, that's up to you. And you just put your feet back in the, in the field. Okay. Don't worry about getting paid right now, mm -hmm. okay? Because they won't pay you for your profile either. Oh, I know. Don't, don't worry about saying I'm doing psychology. You, you know where the fine line is there and you know what yeah. you can and cannot do. So just don't do what you're not allowed to do, Okay. right? But you can still care about people without that, Okay. All right? And see what happens. Okay. And then you will find out that people will have certain problems that they either are willing to pay for or they are going to come up, they're going to have very soon. Mm -hmm. You know, certain problems, they start now and they will become bigger. Yeah. 
right? And mm -hmm. you already at the front line, at the uh, ahead of the game. You already say, "Hey, look!" And I can tell you this: when once you leave the house, this is going to happen. Right. And I want you to know that when this hits you, I'm the one to talk to. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Yeah. Right? Okay. And you will notice as m the more you put out, the more card comes back to you. For, okay. you know, a, a chunk out in your calendar when you want to do what, deal with the license and the profile. Uh -huh. Nobody cares right now. Nobody right. looks online and sees who is that new person with the, right. you know, that just, it, it's, these are not the times, just help them out. <clears throat> okay. Make a decision when and how, mm -hmm. and then really connect with people. And, you know, there is something nice about this time right now is that you don't really have to worry about getting paid because you're probably not going to get paid anyways. Yeah. <laughs> You can just do your job, right? Yeah. <laughs> like there's no sales here, right? If people yeah. want to work with you, they will let you know and you right. can make them an offer and do that. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't have to, you know, a lot of people who are working with folks, this idea that they have to now ask them for money holds them back in some way. We don't have this problem right now. Yeah. Right? And it comes back a thousandfold when people get to know you. Is that helpful okay. at all? Yeah, it's extremely helpful. Extremely. Good. Thank Is, you. Can anybody else resonate with this right now? Okay. I mean, we're at home anyways, right? Whether we clean the fridge or call a former client and just check in with them. Right. And I'm not saying, hello, Elaine. And I'm not saying, um, undervalue or whatever, or, you know, know. You, you will know, but you got to get back in the flow. You got to yeah. pick up the, 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 the work, mm -hmm. you know, somebody has to do it Yeah, and uh, make connections in the process, make the connections where you want to be. Just tell them, Hey, I'm helping out right now. They will remember you in two months. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's we have two that, Elaine's here. There's Elaine Alvarez and Elaine Davis. This is so nice. So uh -huh. Catherine, what are we going to talk about? Um, what are we going to tap on? <clears throat> we're going to tap on relaxing about doing one thing at a time. I want to stop multitasking. I want to just, just focus on. Okay. Just focus on being healthy and for when I'm needed. Okay. Karate to point, even though. Even though. I want to be at the front lines right now. I want to be at the front lines. I've studied all my, I, I've prepared all my life for this. I've prepared all my life for this. I'm trained. I'm trained. And licensed. And licensed. And experienced. And experienced. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I should not be sitting at home right now. I shouldn't be sitting at home right now. I should be out, uh, I should be going out right now. I should be going out right now. Doing my job. Doing my job. Helping people. Helping people. Doing what I know how to do. Doing what I know how to do. And probably better than many others. And probably better than many others. And here I am stuck at home. And here I am stuck at home. As grateful as I am for that situation. As grateful as I am for this situation. Because it's actually a good solution in a difficult time. Because it's actually a good solution at a difficult time. But it doesn't change the fact. But it doesn't change the fact. That I should be at the front lines right now. That I should be at the front lines right now. Fighting some fight. Fighting the fight out there. That's me. That's me. That's where I shine. That's where I shine big time. And I, and I miss it. I miss it. I do. Much more, than it. I miss, much more than I miss finishing my profile. Much more, much more than I've been doing the profile. And even though there's a part of me. Even though there's a part of me. That is worried about the legalities of it all. That is worried about the legalities of it all. Because this is not the time to start a professional practice. This is not a time to start a professional practice. And the reason I know that is? And the reason I know that is? Because it's so damn hard. Because it's so damn <laughs> hard. So damn hard. And even if I did it? And even if I did it? I still wouldn't have any paying clients. I still wouldn't have any paying clients. And it wouldn't get me to the front lines either. And it wouldn't get me to the front lines. <sighs> so it just seems that door is closed. So just, I'm sorry. It, it just seems, seems like that door is closed. It just seems like that door is closed. Temporarily. Temporarily. So why not just go to the front lines? So why not just go to the front lines? With the Zoom account that I have. With the Zoom account that I have. And do some good work. And just do some work. And make the connections in the process. And, I make, and make connections in the process. So that people can get to know me. 
so people can get to know me and support me and support me as much as I support them as much as I support them and for some strange reason and for some strange reason that brings a smile to my face it brings a smile to my face it does and even though I didn't know and even though I didn't know that I have permission to do what needs to be done right now that I have that I have permission to do what needs to be done right now these are different times these are different times these are really new times these are really new times and I have full permission to just go to the front lines and do what I can do and I have permission to just go to the front line and do what I can do just call people up and check in on them call call people up check in on them just see how they are see how they're doing maybe I can't do full therapy with them I, I maybe I can't do full therapy with them but I can do something to help them through but I can do something to help them through and I don't want to do that and I want to do that I miss it I miss it so much and here, and here I am smiling again <laughs> I, I am I'm here I am smiling again just thinking about my work yeah so I might as well do it so I'm gonna do it just pick up the phone no strings attached pick up the phone no strings attached and see what happens and I'll see what happens after all I'm good at what I do I'm really good at what I do I'm good at what I do I'm good at what I do so what's the point of not doing it so what's the point of not doing it I love what I do I love what I do and I have permission to do it anytime and I have permission to do it anytime even if my practice isn't set up even if my practice isn't set up it doesn't mean I can't call somebody and talk to them does not mean I can't call someone and talk to them I know what the legalities are I know the legal I know what the legalities are but it can still be human being helping others out but I can still be a human being and help people that way and take the rest one step at a time and I will take the rest one step at a time one simple step at a time one simple step at a time it's gonna be so much easier to fill out my profile it will be so much easier to fill out my profile when I focus my day on doing what I love when I focus my day on doing what I love after all I've trained for this all my year all my life <clears throat> after all I've trained for this all my life after all I've gotten myself ready for this all my life after all I've gotten myself ready for this all my life and people need me right now and people need me right now even people who, who will never be able to pay me need me right even, now. yes even people who will never be able to pay me and that's okay maybe you can put them in a group together maybe I can put them in a group together and that's just my give back and that's my give back making sure they are they are taken care of anyways making sure they are taken care of anyways maybe I can do that and maybe I can do that I do want to get back to the front lines I want I do want to get back to the front lines I'm just gonna go back to the front lines I'm just gonna go back to the front lines I'm going to self-deploy <laughs> I'm, I'm going to self-deploy myself <laughs> I'm going to self deploying I'm, and doing some good. I'm going to self deploy and <laughs> saving some lives, saving some lives and take what's after after and and take what's after after after. Yeah. Take a breath. <clears throat> what's up? I feel tingly all over. Good. I'm a good tingly. I'm mm -hmm. really good tingly. Yeah. Go do your work. What are you doing sitting around wondering about profiles? People need you. I, I think it just it totally focused me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, did. yeah. And it's it's really it's that permission thing. <clears throat> it is. You know, it's so nice to call somebody and just say, How are you? without oh. thinking, you know, yeah. I have a four thousand dollar package of X amount of things and all of these other you know, I mean if people really want to do that with you, obviously, you know, uh -huh. you know how to answer and what to do. Right. And that's a different story. But if you really just call because you care and you have the time. I have and I do have the time. It's nice. And, and it's I, and, yeah. and you will build your business or your practice much faster when the door is open for you. That's true. And I, you just helped me re reorganize the importance of things. Okay. So just get rid of the profile. Nobody wants to okay. hear that. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, not gonna just, yeah, I am. You can do that at night while watching right. And, the coronavirus right <laughs> the updates <laughs> <laughs> okay cool you know you. uh you know that so many people struggle with this right now oh yeah i do right. i do and so thank you for stepping forward and and saying it this way because this is really a big deal we are not useless even if our businesses are not where they used to be or not where we can control where they're going it That's doesn't true. mean our skills aren't needed it doesn't mean our 
our uh, friends and clients are not still our friends and clients. It doesn't mean uh-huh. we can't take care of somebody unless we are allowed to do it professionally in a certain way. It right. doesn't mean that this is going to stay forever. It's just how it is right now. Right. Go for it. I, I and let will. us know. Okay. I will. Oh, hear. you better believe it. <clears throat> and and really quickly, I do post this on my Facebook page. Okay, not just in my profile, but oh, I know, page. and that's okay. I and I feel do, like I'm. I do post and please forward is my point. I will. I'm I thinking. To know about it. As we've been doing this, I'm thinking I have. To, I'm a part of us, a couple of face face groups locally of therapists, yeah. and I think that this is very helpful. I know they're all struggling. And they should all come, you know, yeah, and if there's, I'm, if there's, I mean, an overwhelming amount of people want to do it, we do another day. I don't mind doing yeah. that either. I, no, I, I'm definitely going to share this. Awesome. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Oh my gosh. You see how easy this can be? It is. And when I've you walk been... through an open door, instead of trying to push a hole in a wall. Yeah. <laughs> gosh, I've always wanted to do more of this and this, I really feel this is yeah, helpful. Wow. I'm excited. Oh, Good, gosh, perfect. I am too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Of course. Of course. Excellent. Um, did you want me to open the mics and, and just you guys give some feedback? Sure. Should we do that for a minute? Okay. Good. I am just going to unmute everybody. So if you are talking or doing other things right now, you just want you to know you're all un- No, you're not all muted because you, some people can mute themselves and have done that. Just give some feedback. How are you doing? And who would like to do some tapping? Yeah, Marie Therese. I I see now as well. say what a difference we see now in Catherine before the tapping and after the tapping. It's marvelous. Oh. Good job. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Yeah, that's you know that's that's why I like Zoom because you just get to see that. And yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Now I saw that you were going like this as well. Oh, uh, earlier um, I just wanted to. Um, uh, say thank you for last week and that I've had, um, I've really been concentrating on being in the flow of doing what I feel like doing at the moment instead of trying to force myself to do the things I said I should do a month ago and haven't done. And I'm getting so much more done doing what I want to do. Yeah. Perhaps like Catherine. So yeah. this yeah. has all been very helpful. Thank you. This is awesome. And you don't worry so much anymore about the folks that have opinions? Um, no, I'm, uh, I'm ignoring them. Good. We all know people have opinions right now, right? And, and they're happy to share. <laughs> and it's kind of, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, um, one of the things that I, that I always like to teach a little bit is, um, you know, when you think that somebody doesn't give you permission, uh, to do what you think you're supposed to do, or are they going to judge you for making a change? There's a trick to that. How to handle that? Can I share that? It's, it's, it's a little. It's complicated. Don't tell them what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's none of their business. They don't understand it. They wouldn't approve even if they did. They have a personal agenda of making you feel bad. So what's the point, right? <laughs> Just don't tell them. Just, just, just find a way to explain to them what you do um, that makes them tick a box that they think they need to tick in order to let you off the hook and that's done, right? We, certain people just don't need to know. And, um, or they will come around much, much later. And in the meantime, it's our job to just go to the front lines, just like you guys are all doing and just do what we need to do. So cool, I'm glad to hear that now. Um, somebody else raised their hand and I forgot uh, Barbara yes yeah uh, it's uh, it's interesting to me and it ties in with Catherine's uh, issue is one of the blessings that seems to have come for me out of this is actually less worry the reality of 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 death <laughs> being the the ultimate thing has made a whole bunch of other things seem very unimportant yeah. Um, I see people still arguing about this or that, or and it's like you get it. You could drop dead tonight, and we always could have dropped dead tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. for so me, true. it's been just such a blessing. <laughs> but, on the, but on the other hand, what I struggle with is I help in the way I can. I listen, but sometimes I feel so helpless 
There are situations, I have a friend who has cancer and she's starting a, thir um, a hormone treatment. Um, she lives in New York. You know, I, she's got a partner who doesn't follow protocol. I, I can't help her. I mean, the most I can do is listen and uh, help her bounce off of me. But when I hear everybody on this place talking, and I see how hard it is for everybody. I don't know what to do with all that. It's, uh, you do exactly what you're here to do. It's overwhelming. Um, Barbara, can I say something to you? Sure. Um, I spent six years working in hospice. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've listened to a lot of people who are going through what your friend is going through under horrible circumstances, not this is unique but under horrible circumstances and if you're listening to your friend yep. that's the best that's all she that's what she needs mm -hmm. she needs you to listen without giving an opinion without yep. telling her she's doing it right or wrong she needs to talk about it and you mm -hmm. and being a good listener is such a great gift that you would give your that you are giving your friend for, and i'm just saying this from yeah. someone who well, who's worked with dying people for so many years I mean, or, it's not just you know, people one who are getting... there's I... more than one person that calls and, and okay. uh, I talk and listen and yeah. oh boy, it's like, I don't it's know. heavy. On, it's heavy on you. I don't have any answers. So <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to. He, sorry. I'm he, sorry. Ingrid. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're absolutely right. I agree with you. You know, I'm a cancer survivor and I'm on my, I don't know how many gazillions treatment right now. Right. And every three weeks I have to wonder if it worked or if it didn't. Right. Oh, right? I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. It's been going on for 16 years. And for oh. six, I'm getting checked. I get a diagnosis every four weeks. Oh, right. Gosh. So I hear this. Um, and I'm not always like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just want to point out to you that listening is hard work. Mm -hmm. And dealing with helplessness is mm -hmm. excruciating. And just uh, not not coming up with a solution that makes right. it all good is something that very few people know how to handle. Mm -hmm. So the helplessness that you're feeling right now is actually the work that you're doing, That's right? Good. This is a really, really freaking big deal. And most people, they just pack up and run. And then they tell you, you know, you should take vitamin C, right? And like that's going to do it <laughs> well, for you. And then they just <laughs> out the door, right? Because that's all they had. That's all they want to do. They want to make themselves feel better and just leave, right? And uh, there is a fine line between taking on somebody's pain and just really saying, you know, here's, here's something that I like to, to suggest is um, when somebody starts talking to you, a really good thing to say is tell me more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just let that settle in. When they say, you know, it's really hard not to say, isn't it? And I know, and you're right. And a bar and everybody. And then there is the media, but just say, tell me more. And they will. And they will tell you something very different from what they tell everybody else. And they won't tell you because they want you to find a solution. They will tell you because all of a sudden they step into the healing mode of processing. Somebody actually wants them to tell them more. And they're going to talk about something very different. That gets you off the hook, right? They're not talking to you because they want you to tell them that they need vitamin C and whatever. <laughs> and I'm not, hey, you know, if you saw what I'm doing here... <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for vitamin C, but um, that's not the point. But as a healer, to say, tell me more is the best way to make people know that they're seen, they're heard, and there's a place for them, mm -hmm. right? It's actually also the easiest way to shut somebody up who just always keeps talking, <laughs> okay? Uh, this is really, this is another thing for those of you who are out on the front lines right now. Um, people oftentimes speak a lot because they think that nobody listens, right? They think nobody hears me. They think like, if I don't get it all out, then nobody's ever going to la la la. Mm -hmm. If you stop them and say, hey, you know what? I hear you. Tell me more. Within five minutes, they've told you everything that's on their mind. Not an hour and a half. Oh, and that's when you can step into saying, okay, I got it. What are we going to do? Now what? Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when they push, you pull. Mm -hmm. 
when they have more to say, you listen, but, and you're very clear that, that, that you, that's all you, that's all there is. Okay. This is hard work, Barbara. This is very, very, very few people can do this. Right. And sometimes it goes on for hours and yet there's no solution. And, and mm -hmm. it just, it's like, oh, well, that's oh. you though. That's not them. Yeah. Okay. Because you still want to find a solution. There's no yeah. solution for cancer that you would have. Right. Okay. Yeah. So if you come from a headspace and say, let's find you a solution, you're going to get lost in the process and it's going over and over. Also, if you go in, into, I want to feel your pain. I get you. I understand. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Right. So what's the point of saying, I understand. And then saying, because I know somebody else or I've been through something similar. That's not where they need to go. Mm -hmm. Just go into wherever they are. You're going to be there with them and you're going to help them process. Yeah. You don't take this on, but you're going to help them process. Catherine, am I saying this right? You're the answer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Totally. Yes. No, we don't have the answers. We don't and they to. don't want their, and they don't want your answers. Yeah. If I wanted an answer, I'd talk to my oncologist. Yeah. They right. just, <laughs> they just need an ear. And all the other because, people. <laughs> because they have so much inside. They just, yeah. it's unbearable. So they, your ear, your listening skills are so valuable. It's, and there's actually another, I think this is so interesting. All these calls always go different, but um, there's another piece to this. You can actually set a boundary by saying, because you have a background, right? Mm -hmm. And you can ask them if they're interested in hearing about it or if that's just not the place. Right. You know, I do this. I just say, look, I mean, clearly I'm, I'm happy to tap with you on that or happy to do whatever, share. I mean, if you saw my studio here, what? <laughs> there's a lot of healing stuff going on. I'm happy to share, but you tell me, where are you at? Right? Is this why we're talking or is there a different reason? And if they say, you know what, I just want to get this out, you know, because I'm pissed right now and I can't stand it anymore. And nobody's listening to me and everybody has an opinion on me. And when is it ever going to be about me? Why is everybody else trying to feel better? I'm not feeling well. Right? <laughs> and I don't want to be responsible for other people feeling better after they. You decide that. And if they, and, and some people take advantage of you and you can say, you know, I got it. I don't, I'm not sure there's something I can do. And you can close that door too. Mm -hmm. You have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. If they drain your batteries, um, that's a no, no. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is a really good topic. I hope this from a coaching perspective, this was helpful. Oh, very much. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, this is more coaching, right? This isn't therapy. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. And I like so you that. can do this any day. I know. I love No that. license. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? I do. I okay. do. Barbara, let's stop. Actually, let me just mute everybody. And then, um, yeah, we need to find the right mouse for this. There we go. I'm going to mute all and I'm going to unmute Barbara. So, Maria, um, think about it. The helplessness, listening to people. Where do you feel this in your body? Um, sort of all over the chest. Okay. And, and what shoulders. is it that you're feeling there? Mm -hmm. What's the feeling? Um, well, I'm in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> okay. It goes from the front to the back and the shoulders and when you say a lot of pain, how strong? Um, well, it, it's not excruciating or anything. It's just always there nagging. Like it's a lime leftover line, but, okay. um, and it, and it flares and, you know, how, how much it, is it right now? Um, maybe a five. Okay. And we were talking about helplessness and not knowing what to do. Okay, cool. Let's just see where this goes. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Deep breath and do some stretching, my dear, because that's good for you. Just stretch out a little bit. All right. Karate to a point. Even though I feel so helpless right now. Even though I feel so helpless right now. I'm stuck in my own body. I'm stuck in my own body. I still have this, this leftover lime, uh, lime this nagging leftover lime pain. 
still have this leftover Lion King. I'm not at my. I, I'm not my. I'm. I am. Um, I'm not at my strongest point either. I'm not at my strongest point either. I'm just not. I'm just not. And I'm trying to help others. And trying to help others. People have it worse. People have it worse. People who are struggling more than I do. People are struggling more than People me. who I think have more right to claim that they're miserable. People that have more right to claim that they're miserable. Than I do. Than I do. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something. Whatever that something is. Whatever that something is. Maybe listening to them. Maybe listening to them. And it's not working. And it's not it's working. not working. It's, it's draining not. my batteries. It's draining my batteries. And I'm draining them on top of that. And I'm draining them on top of that. And here I am with this nagging pain. Here I am with this nagging pain. All over my chest and shoulders. All over my chest and shoulders. Making me feel so helpless. Making me feel so helpless. I'm just going to accept that for now. Just going to accept that for now. And I choose to be open. I choose to be open to the possibility to the possibility that a part of me already knows that a part of me already knows where my power lies where my power lies and even though there's a chance and even though there's a chance that I have superpowers that I have superpowers that I have something I can do that I have something I can do that only I can do that only I can do I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. If I'm there. If I'm there. I'm still trying the old programs. I'm still trying the old programs. I've taken it all on and taken it all in. I'm taking it all on and taking it all in. True? Yeah, I guess so. And even though I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Even though I'm not sure why I'm doing that. What makes me do that? What makes me do that? It's not helping. It's not helping. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And I so say why are you doing that? Um, it, for some reason, I have to save every spider. <laughs> okay, even though I need to save the spiders. <laughs> even though I have to save the spiders. All of them. All, of them. All spiders. All spiders. All the time. All the time. Look how nice I am. Look how nice I am. Look how much I care. Look how much I care. Look how important that is for me. Look how important. It's really important for me. It's really important for me. Because I know what it feels like when nobody does that for you. I know what it feels like for you. Is that true? Yeah. And I'm just going to own the fact that nobody ever did this for me. I'm going to own the fact that nobody ever did this. In the way that I needed. In the way that I needed. And that really hurt. And it really hurt. Mm -hmm. But I and don't even, want anyone else to hurt. Right. And even though I don't want anyone else to hurt. Even though I don't want anyone else to hurt. Because I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like. I grew up that way. Oh. True? Yeah. A lot of people did. <sighs> but not like me. Not like me. My pain is unique. My pain is unique. What happened to me is unique. What happened to me is unique. How lonely I was is unique. How lonely I was is unique. How little people helped me is unique. How little people help me. That's not totally true, but it felt that way. At that time, it felt that way. That way. And I still carry that in me. I still carry that in me. As a big fat energy disruption. As a big fat energy dysfunction. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at how much that still hurts me. Look at that. Oh, it still hurts me. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. It still hurts me after all these years. It still hurts after all these years. And I've done so much good as a result. And I've done so much.
much good as a result. I'm going to use this big fat block still again. Where's this big block still? Right in my energy field. Right in my energy field. That old, that old pain of grow, of the way, um, of how I grew up. The old pain of how I grew up. And just keep tapping, okay? The poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. Nobody ever helped me the way that I wanted. No, nobody helped me the way I wanted. Nobody was there for me the way that I needed them to. No one was there the way I needed them to. And I'm very sensitive. And I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive. And I'm very sensitive. So it's very hard for me to watch that. So it's very hard. Mm. I'm even crying just thinking about it. <laughs> Maybe cry. <laughs> Look at how nice I am. <laughs> how nice I am. I cry about people who are not even in the room. <laughs> right? How people that aren't even in the room. Because I care so much. Because I care so much. I care so much I would save the spiders. I care so much I would save the spiders. I am actually saving the spiders. I am actually saving the spiders. <laughs> That's how sensitive I am. That's how sensitive I am. And if anything good had come out of people giving me what I need. Say that again. And if anything good would have come. And if anything good would have come. Out of gi people giving me what I need. Give people giving me out what of I people need, giving me what I needed. Out of people giving me what I needed. When I grew up. When I grew up, it would another thing. I would have probably been confident and feeling loved. I would have felt confident at being loved. That's probably the difference between if I had gotten what I got, what I needed. That's probably the difference between what I if I'd gotten what I needed, and not getting what I needed, and not getting what I needed. If I had received what I needed, if I had received what I needed, I'd feel confident. I feel confident. And loved. And loved. And strong. And strong. I wonder if anything else would have changed. And I, I wonder if anything else would be changed. I wonder if anything else would have been changed. If I would really be different. If I would really be different. Yeah. If people had given me more attention. If people had given me more. Attention. Attention. Would I be a different person? Would I be a different person? Or would I just be more confident in who I am? Or would I just be more confident in who I am? Would I be a more successful person? Would I be a more successful person? Or would I just celebrate who I am as a success? Or would I celebrate who I am as a success? Would I be a happier person? Would I be a happier person? <sighs> Or do I just like myself better? Or I just like myself better? Because I, 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 I had the confirmation. Because I had the confirmation. That being who I am. That being who I am. Sensitive and nice. Sensitive and nice. Is truly a good thing. It's truly a good thing. And people like me for it. And people like me for it. Take a breath. What comes to mind? I, I do like who I am. I see that how I was brought up in a way has made it a me more compassionate and able to help other people. And that probably wouldn't have happened if I hadn't experienced what I experienced. But and we I don't know that. No, we Maybe don't. there's nothing good in what you experience. Maybe it's just wrong. Maybe <laughs> it's just people should not be raised this way. You know, maybe not everybody should be. I don't know if it was your parents, but I just yeah. make an assumption here. Replace it what yeah. actually happened. I don't know and much about do, that. How do you stop 
being that caring. You don't care more, not less. You're caring. Oh, what are you Lord. doing trying not to be? Just like Catherine, you know, you want me at the front lines while you're filling out forms. <laughs> Fill them out when you get home with a glass of wine. Much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Two glasses. <laughs> don't. It's care just, more, not less. It's okay. painful, though. No, it's, it's only painful if you're trying to, to make it something it's not. Fix it, yeah. You don't have to find a solution yeah. unless you have one. Yeah. Okay. What makes it painful is, is to try to find an answer for cancer. That's the doctor's job. It's not yours. Mm -hmm. The doctor's job is not to listen. The doctor's job is not to confirm and be a therapist or a good friend. The doctor's job is to say hmm, that drug on that moment, this together, that should work. Find your place in this. And if you don't know what she needs you to do, then you need to ask her. Because you have no way of knowing what she needs right now. Hmm. No, it's not just her. It's the, it's the saving the spiders. It's the saving the world. It's, the, it's bigger than her. Okay. Yeah. Why is that a problem, though? <laughs> I, that's a serious question. Why is saving the world a problem? Some people, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if everybody would want to save, not all spiders, but you get the point. Why is that a problem? I feel it so deeply and, and I get tired. Well, then you're doing it wrong. Okay. What are you doing wrong? Saving the spiders is just saving spiders. It's, which part of that? Makes you <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Why, why does it exhaust you? There just seems so much need all over the place. Yeah, but why is it all for you to solve? I don't know. Why don't you just do what we were talking about before and just see where your front line is and fight there? Yeah. That's a question. Right, your point. Even though I'm not sure. Even though I'm not sure. If enough is enough. If enough is enough. If doing what I'm here, what I can. I'm doing what I can. It's valuable enough. It's valuable enough. And there's a chance. And there's a chance. But as a kid, it was never enough. But as a kid, it was never enough. There was always more. There was always more. I was never good enough. I was never good enough. And I could never change my situation, no matter what I did. I couldn't change my situation no matter what I did. So I believed I just wasn't good enough. I believed I wasn't good enough. True. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And that's why saving the spiders isn't good enough. <laughs> it's that simple sometimes. Even though the truth is. Even though the truth is. That I was never good enough. That I was never good enough. To fix whatever was going on in my parents' mind. To fix whatever was going on in my parents' mind. It was never my job. It's never my job. But I struggled with it. But I struggled with it. And I believed. And I believed. Because it was little. Because I was little. That I was making mistakes that was, were causing the, the way they behaved. That I was making mistakes that was causing the way they behaved. I was this absolutely horrific child. <laughs> I was this absolutely horrific child. Mean, abusive, and out of control. <laughs> Out of control. Who was completely in control of her parents' feelings and behavior. Who was completely in control, control of her parents' behavior. And just stopped them in their tracks every time they tried to be nice and loving. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I don't know. That's Probably not, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so here I am. So here I am. And I tried so hard. I tried so hard to find a solution for a problem. To find a solution for a problem. That I hadn't caused. That I hadn't caused. I was thrown in the middle of a very abusive life. I was thrown in the middle of a very abusive With a lot of neglect and a lot of disrespect. With a lot of neglect and disrespect. And I'm too nice to believe. And I'm too nice to believe. <laughs> but that's just how my parents were. That's just how my parents were. I always thought they're nicer than that. I always thought they were nicer than that. But they weren't really nice. 
They were. <laughs> they were nice sometimes. <laughs> they were nice sometimes. I always knew they had it in them. I always knew that had it. And I had some proof for that. And I had proof of that. And every time I had, they, I had proof for that. Every time I had proof of that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. My, my hopes went up. My hopes went up. Only to recognize. Only to recognize. That they might go back to their old behavior. They might go back to their own behavior. Well, me without me being able to do anything about it. Without me being able to do anything about it. You're getting a message. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you want no, me that's to okay. Mute myself? That's all right. So why don't I just mute you for a little bit and you just sit with that, okay? All right. So um, how did this sit? I'm going to unmute everybody. This is so cool. Um, how did this sit with the rest of you? Was this... Hold on. Um, how did this sit with you? I unmuted everybody who didn't mute themselves. Um, just some feedback on that. Did this make sense? Did you feel like this was completely the wrong direction and it's not like that for you and you would like to go a different direction? It was exactly like that for me. I mean, that childhood stuff was resonated very strongly. Mm -hmm. Me too. And how do you feel now? I'm, I've done a lot of work on this already, but it still, it was another layer. I feel tender toward that child. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. You know, again, I think we, we just are who we are. And if we get that confirmed, it gets easier and we're not, we're struggling more, but we can't really change who we are. We can adjust and we're all going through adjustment phase right now and trying to find out what else is there for us. But um, yeah, I'm getting some quiet energy from the group right now. <laughs> it's kind of like, mm -hmm, I, think it, I know, I think it was great. I told you that. I mean, I gave my feedback. I think mm. this is really wonderful what you're doing. Barbara is a sensitive, you look at her and you know she's a sensitive soul, right? I mean, she, she I would be a, very surprised if you were running around with brutal things. And, you know, Barbara, did you know that some of us, some of us are born with our, our DNA and our, our, our cells. At the end of those cells, there's things called telomeres. telomeres yeah. And if you're born with longer telomeres, you are a naturally much more sensitive person. So a lot of this is just who you are, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it, it's... I've read a lot about it. It's a, it's a fact of, it's just a fact of um, yep. physiology. And you know, the more, that's why we all need community right now. And that's why I encourage everybody to reach out because I would be very shocked if not everybody on this call right now was a highly sensitive person doing very different things with it. Right. No doubt. And some, for some people, it's really still more on the processing mode and they're trying to figure it out and trying to figure it out with the parents, for example. And some people just, they just love the parents, but they don't like them. Some people love and like them <laughs> and even live with them and anything in between. Um, same thing for our social environment. Everybody is sensitive. Find your community, right? And, and allow yourself to be a part of it. Lead where you're asked to lead and allow others to lead where you just want to be part of and figure it out from there. And listen to your friend. She needs you. She talks to you because she wants to. So, yes, but there's a limit to this, right? There's absolutely a limit to this. And so the helplessness, I would absolutely tap on that, even though I feel helpless that I can't do more because mm -hmm. that's your problem, not hers. Right. And you don't want to, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't, A, she doesn't need to know that and B, it's not helping her. Right. You know, if she called, if she talks to you and afterwards you feel worse, then she, it's not going to be comfortable talking to you again. Right. Yeah. Make sense? And remember, she's here. She's yeah. alive. She's in treatment. Yeah. Okay. She's okay. This yeah. sucks, but she's here. Yeah. Don't treat her as if she wasn't. Yeah. <laughs>
They're popular too. All right, she gets all sorts of phone calls over there. Yes. Okay, good. Um, what time is it? It's it's one fifteen. If you want to, um, we can go to one thirty. We can do one more round. I'm gonna have to hop off. Sounds good. Say Thank bye. you for. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, or next Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. I, I Tuesday. don't even know what day it is. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. See you later. Yeah. Thank you for your thank contributions. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys for yours. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So let's do one more, um, address one more thing if you guys want, or if there's nothing else you want to address, then that's fine too. I'm, I'm open either way, whatever works for you. Does somebody else have something that you would like to work on? As my husband just stealing my coffee. <laughs> I need that back. <laughs> I need it back later. <laughs> so um, what else comes to mind? What else would you like to work on? What else is hard for you right now? Hello, can you yeah. hear me? I can, yes. Um, what about um, getting a difficult customer to, to purchase? Well, I would think that's an agenda that you have to think through. I'm, I'm not sure I want to do business coaching here right now. Okay. I think we really want to have this more around, um, around really the, the situation that we're in right now. Um, with the with the life changes that we're in um it, just a quick note lisa i, I realized that you um, jumped on a little bit later um we had a conversation about um our about our place right now really being uh to serve and okay. to see what that does and see how that changes us and um a lot of people who are running a business right now notice that they are just called to do that work right now and they're called to help and they're called to do really good things and they're building relationships and uh, realities for the future by doing so that are built on the work that they do right now and getting somebody to do something um, might not work. How about it doesn't usually work in the normal world um, because if they don't want it, they don't want it and they have the right to say no. Right. Um, How about how about um, living with a teenager during COVID-19? Um, what about it, Lisa? It's just, um, it's different because he's not all, now he's around 24 seven, he wants to sleep late. He wants to talk to his friends all day on, on his cell phone and on his iPad. And it's just, hard to get him grounded and centered. Because he doesn't want to be grounded and centered? Right. Okay. That's your problem. So why does it annoy you that your customers don't want to buy right now and that your son does not want to be grounded and centered? That's the only thing he can work on. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. So why does it annoy you? Why, why is it hard for you to just roll with that? Because if, when he's around, I want to play a game with him or do the Wii or do something with him, but he's at a stage that he doesn't really want to do things with us. And why is that a problem for you? Because that's not the way it was, always was. It, it's okay. changed. Okay. Okay. So when you talk about this and say, hey, you know, things are changed and, and the old rules, basically what I'm hearing is the old rules don't work anymore. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can anybody relate to that? All right. See how you can take an outside situation as it is and, and just see where our power lies in this, right? Sometimes when a situation is the way it is, that doesn't mean we need to look at it from a certain angle. 
And right now it's just the son who says, look, I'm doing my own thing here and it has nothing to do with mom and everything to do with my cell phone, right? And the clients say, look, of all the things I need right now, I do not need your services. You know, call me in three months, but certainly not now. So the question always, what do we do with that? And of course we have a right to feel the way we do. And at the same time, um, yeah, it's hard. Karate your point, even though the truth is, even though the truth is. Lisa, are you tapping? Yes. Okay. Even though the truth is. Even though the truth is. That all of this really sucks right now. That all of this really sucks right now. I have so little control. I have so little control. I can't get anybody to do anything. I can't get anyone to do anything. Not the way I used to. Not the way I used to. I have no power. I have no power. My son doesn't listen to me. My son doesn't listen to me. He doesn't want to play games with me. He doesn't want to play games with me. Little jerk. Little jerk. <laughs> and I want to play games with my son. And I want to play games with my son. And he doesn't let me. And he doesn't let me. And it's unfair. And it's unfair. He's, he's living in my house and I should have fun with him too. He's living in my house and I should have fun with him too. And it's not fair that he doesn't understand that. And it's unfair. It's fair that he doesn't understand that. Little jerk. Little jerk. <laughs> and even though it's really unfair. And even though it's really unfair. My clients don't buy from me right now. My clients don't buy from me right now. Even if I have a good solution for them. Even if I have a good solution for them. They don't want to invest anything. They don't want to invest anything. Just like I don't invest in myself right now. Just like I don't invest in myself right now. I don't. I don't. I'm holding back as well. I'm holding back as well. And my clients do too. And my clients do too. But it's okay when I don't, when I don't invest in myself. It's okay when I don't invest in myself. But it's not okay when my clients don't. But it's not okay when my clients don't. Hello, John Sasso speaking. Okay, somebody has their Hello. phone. Whoever is, Hello. is this for you, with you, Lisa? Hello. No, my, my husband's on the other side of the table. Okay. I might have to, okay. I might have to move. We might, we might want to move, you do. Okay, but I think we got this really uh, to understand where the problem actually lies, right? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to mute you. Okay, because that, that's a private, you know, he had, doesn't, have an agreement that he wants to be on a Taylor class. So <laughs> does that make sense to you guys? I'm not just gonna, uh, please unmute yourself. I've muted you, but unmute yourself. Does this make sense to you guys? A lot of the situations that we're in right now really have so much more to do with how we look at things than in changing them, right? And every time when something becomes really, really difficult, the actual question is, why does that matter to me? not how hard is it? Why do I care that the spiders need to be saved? Why do I care that I should be in New York and not in, in Lithuania, right? Why, do I, why does it matter to me? That's when you get to the core and the bottom of what's actually going on. And very often it is, um, you know, for example, for us really like, I wanna do what I wanna do, right? <laughs> I want to be where I want to be. I don't want those tickets to work. I have no control. That sucks, right? And no, I'm doing the same thing here. And, uh, and that is something we can tap on. And that is something you guys can tap on for, your, for yourself. Um, can you actually still hear me? Okay. I wonder if I just got kicked out of June. Zoom. Damn it. Yeah, no, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I didn't know my phone can do that. That's when you sit down. Um, There's actually something I wanted to, to show you guys. So the way that I do my own work is I have one of these, right? Just because I like them and I think they're cool and pretty. And I write down what I'm afraid of, or I write down an issue. And then I write down everything that I'm afraid of as far as, as that issue is concerned. And I really break it down, bring it down to a fear, right? So... Um, Barbara, I'm just going to use the spiders. 
Okay. I need to save the spiders because if I don't, then, right? If I don't save them, who will? If they die, what happens? You know, if somebody else struggles, what does that mean? What are we actually afraid of? Because the fear is the thing that is actually really um, causing us to. Okay, hold on. I need to. I need to stop this. This is crazy. Stop it! If I don't want to call, if you call. Um. Okay. This is silly. Okay, there we go. I'm so sorry for this. I think we have to, they're going to call again. Um, so write down what you're afraid of. Write down on a scale of zero to 10, how intense that fear actually is or how true something feels to you or seems to be for you. And then just start tapping, top down. Okay, this fear that they feel the way I used to feel, this fear that nobody likes me, this fear that when they don't like me, I'm going to be alone, this fear that when I'm going to be alone, I don't get the help that I need, this fear that when I don't get the help that I need, I, I'm going to miss out on important things, this fear that if I miss out on important things, then, no, then I will not be safe, this fear that when I'm not safe, I can die. You get that? This is all just fear. None of this is real. But that's how you get to the bottom of things. This is how my brain functions when I work with you guys. And that's how you get to the bottom of the things that you're dealing with. Just write them down in a book or in whatever you want to do and start tapping from the bottom top down. And always ask yourself, what am I afraid of? What would this mean? Right? If this didn't, if this didn't work out, if, if an opportunity uh, didn't show up, if somebody wasn't protecting, uh, supporting me, if my tickets aren't worth anything, if my son doesn't change, you know, what does this mean? Um, and very, very often it, it would mean that we're out of control and we don't know what to do. Because when we're out of control, then who is in control and what are they going to do to us? Right? That's one way of going. So do this work. And please, please do me one favor. I'm going to unmute you in a minute. I hope they stop calling. Um, and do me a favor and please spread the word about our classes. Because you see that everybody has such a great and unique approach here. And you're benefiting each other and let other people know about it too. Okay? This is really the bigger our group gets, the better for everybody. Um, go to my Facebook page. That's the first place where I post this. Um, it's Ingrid Maria Dinter on Facebook is my page. Um, like the page and you get the downloads there. All right. Um, and I hope to see you next week. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to unmute you for, uh, for a minute and, um, unmute all Lisa, if your husband is still on the phone, then you may want to mute yourself again. Um, no, he's not on it. Okay, good, good. On Tuesday? Um, is it Tuesday next week? Uh, it's Tuesday next week. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Unless I send an email, you know, if I send an email, just watch out over the weekend. If I send an email, I have to change the date. Then I'm just going to let you know. Okay. Okay. Sounds Thank good. You. Yes. Ingrid, that was very profound today. Thank you very much. We covered, so welcome. covered it out. And I'm Thank glad you. to see you. Yes. It's nice to see your faces. So thank you all wow. for participating. Thank you all. And, Bye. uh, yeah, if there is anything I can do for you in the meantime, let me know, okay? okay. Thanks, sir. Okay, can you hear me okay? All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, okay.